go over November's debt review. I know this is really late, but I still wanted to get it out to show you guys our progress in November and to update my budget planner together. So to start off, I'm going to list the debts that we have remaining and then we'll go over our progress monthly and then overall for the year. So first we have our motorcycle. We have our braces and a RAV4 loan. So our starting balance for our motorcycle was $1,438.26 at the beginning of November. Next, the braces balance was $2,000. $589 and our RAV4 was at $21,208.36 which gives a total of $25,235.62 and our minimum for these accounts, we have 200 for our motorcycle. Braces is 189 and RAV4 is 420. The minimums are a little lower than these, but I like paying a, a round number, so I round them up a little bit. So our minimum for each month is $809. So with our extra payments we were able to put towards our debt was towards the motorcycle we put $1,240.60 which ended up paying that off which is a big congratulations so excited for that one we didn't put any extra towards braces and then we still had extra income that we were able to put towards our wrap for as well. So we did add an extra payment of $651.85, which means in addition to our minimums, we were able to put $1,892.45 towards our debt, which so for our ending, our motorcycles paid off. That is done. Our braces is at $2,400 even. There is no interest on this one, so we are just paying it as is. And then lastly, we have our wrap four, which brought it down to $20,000. 2359 which means we now only owe $22,623.59. Oh, that's so exciting. We're making great progress this year and I'm so thankful. So next we're gonna look at our progress and we're gonna have monthly and we're gonna have an overall. Okay, let me flip back. So we're gonna have a starting, our ending, we're gonna have the monthly dollar progress, and we're gonna calculate the percentage progress as well and we're going to do the same the only difference is our starting is from the first when we really started tracking everything and then our ending also our dollar progress for our debts and then our percentage progress for the month, our starting was right here. We'll just bring it down. 
25,235.62. Our ending over here, we have 22,623.59. And when we subtract these, it will show you exactly what you've paid off on your principal, so not including interest. And that means we've applied 2,000 six hundred and twelve dollars and three cents to our principles which that should have lined up a little better i apologize for that and for the month we were able to pay off 10.35 percent which can be calculated by taking this number and dividing it by your starting so how much you paid 2612.03 divided by your starting will show you how much percentage progress you paid for the month. And then overall, we'll take the starting, which if we flip back to January, it'll be this amount $45,898.65. And so 45, 8, 98, and 65 cents. And then our ending for this month will be that number again. So 22,623.59, which means for the year, when we subtract these two, we have paid off twenty three thousand two hundred seventy five dollars and six cents which means as you can see between these two numbers between what we have remaining and how much we paid we have crossed over into the 50 percent just barely so 50.71 which means we paid off more debt than we have remaining. We've definitely exceeded how much we anticipated being able to pay towards our debt. We didn't think we would have our motorcycle paid off until like April. We are incredibly thankful to have been able to make this progress in 2020. And it's definitely shown us that we don't want this debt to be looming over because you never know what can happen in life and it's been a motivator for us significantly. So since we've made over 50% progress, we do hope to continue that into 2021. Stay tuned to see if we can do that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, always make sure you can like, comment, subscribe. Leave a smiley face, your favorite emoji, whatever. I would love to see it. If you have any questions, also you can leave those in the comments. I thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!